नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन प्रोबेबिलिटी लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी फोर इन हुईच आई विल सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन मीन वेरियंस एन स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ऑफ ए बायोनोमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नाउ वी सॉल्व ए प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम इज ए डाई इज टॉस्ट 180 टाइम्स फाइंड द एक्सपेक्टेड नंबर म्यू ऑफ टाइम्स द फेस विथ नंबर थ्री विल अपीयर आल्सो फाइंड वेरिएंस सिग्मा स्क्वेयर and standard deviation sigma now we solve this since a die has six faces three is one of these six faces when a die is tossed then probability for appearing the face three that is number three is 1 by 6 let appearing of theory is assumed to be success therefore probability of success in a trial equal to 1 by 6 let this is p let and then probability of failure in a trial will be 1 minus p that is 1 minus 1 by 6 that is 5 by 6 let this is q since given that total number of trials be 180 this is equal to n let since we know that mean mu equal to np n is 180 and p is 1 by 6 that is 30 variance sigma square equal to n p q yaar n p is 30 and q is 5 by 6 this equal to 6 5 sir 30 that is 25 standard deviation sigma equal to square root variance that is square root 25 that is 5 so our problem is solved now we solve the next problem next problem is the mean and variance of the binomial distribution are 4 and 4 by 3 respectively find probability of random variable x greater than equal to 1 now we solve this solution since given that mean mu equal to 4 and variance sigma square equal to 4 by 3 this is number 1 this is number 2 since we know that mean mu equal to np 
n equal to number of trials p equal to probability of success in a trial here given that mu equal to 4 4 equal to np that this is number 3 since variance sigma square equal to np q q be the probability of failure in a trial here given that variance equal to 4 by 3 here 4 by 3 here np equal to 4 multiply q using 3 implies that q equal to 1 by 3 and this is number 4 therefore p equal to 1 minus q means 1 minus 1 by 3 equal to 2 by 3 this is number 5 putting this value in theory, we get 4 equal to n multiply p equal to 2 by 3 implies that n equal to 4 multiply 3 by 2 means 6. This is number 6. To find probability for random variable x greater than equal to 1 and this equal to 1 minus probability for random variable x equal to 0 this equal to 1 minus this is equal to 6 c 0 p to the power 0 q to the power 6 minus 0 this is equal to 1 minus 6 c 0 means 1 p to the power 0 1 q is 1 by 3 to the power 6 this is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power 6 this is equal to 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power 6 is 729. This equal to 728 by 729. And this is equal to 0 0.9986. So our problem is solved. Now we solve problem number 3. Problem is if mean and variance of a binomial distribution are 9 and 6 respectively, find the distribution. Since given that mean mu equal to 9 and variance sigma square equal to 6, since we know that mu equal to np where n be the number of trials and p be the probability of success in a trial here mu equal to 9 9 equal to np let this is number one variance sigma square equal to n p q where q equal to probability of failure in a trial
since sigma square equal to 6 and n p equal to 9 here multiply q implies that q equal to 6 by 9 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9. This is number 2. Therefore, q equal to 2 by 3. Now, p. p equal to 1 minus q. Means 1 minus 2 by 3. Means 1 by 3. Let this is number 3. Using 3 in 1 we get 9 equal to n multiply 1 by 3 implies that n equal to 9 multiply 3 27 this is number 4 therefore we get p equal to 1 by 3 Q equal to 2 by 3 and N equal to 27. That means probability for success in a trial equal to 1 by 3. Probability for failure equal to 2 by 3. Here number of trials equal to 27. So we get the distribution. Now we solve the next problem. Problem is if the sum of mean and variance of a binomial distribution for 5 trials is 1.8, find the distribution. Now we solve this. Given that number of trials equal to 5, let this is n. And also given that sum of mean, mean plus variance equal to 1.8 implies that mean is mu and variance is sigma square equal to 1.8. implies that mu equal to we know that this is np and sigma square is npq equal to 1.8 where p equal to probability of success in a trial Q be the probability of failure in a trial implies that value of n is 5 5 p plus here 5 p q means 1 minus p equal to 1.8 means 18 by 10 implies that this is 5p plus 5p minus 5p square equal to 18 by 10 implies that here 5p plus 5p 10p and we take 10 this side that means 100 p minus 50 p square equal to 18 implies that here we divide this by 2 50 p minus 25 p square equal to 9 implies that 25p square minus 50p 
प्लस नाइन इक्वल टू जीरो इम्प्लाइज दैट पी इक्वल टू दिस इज ए क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सो हियर दिस इज ए दिस इज बी एंड दिस इज सी सो माइनस बी मीन्स माइनस माइनस फिफ्टी प्लस स्क्वेर रूट बी स्क्वेर माइनस फिफ्टी स्क्वेर माइनस फोर ए सी ए इज ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड सी इज नाइन बाय टू ए टू मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेंटी फाइव दिस इक्वल टू फिफ्टी दिस इज प्लस माइनस हियर प्लस माइनस हियर टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस नाइन हंड्रेड बाई फिफ्टी दिस इक्वल टू फिफ्टी प्लस माइनस हियर स्क्वेर रूट सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड बाय फिफ्टी दिस इक्वल टू फिफ्टी प्लस माइनस दिस इज फोर्टी बाय फिफ्टी दिस इक्वल टू फिफ्टी प्लस फोर्टी नाइन्टी बाय फिफ्टी कॉमा फिफ्टी माइनस फोर्टी टेन बाय फिफ्टी दिस इक्वल टू नाइन बाय फाइव वन बाय फाइव सिंस प्रोबेबिलिटी मे नॉट बी ग्रेटर देन वन सिंस नाइन बाय फाइव इज ग्रेटर देन वन सो पी नॉट इक्वल टू नाइन बाय फाइव दे आर फॉर पी इक्वल टू वन बाय फाइव देन क्यू इक्वल टू वन माइनस वन बाय फाइव दैट इज फोर बाय फाइव एंड एन इज फाइव दे आर फॉर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज P इक्वल टू वन बाई फाइव क्यू इक्वल टू फोर बाई फाइव एंड एन इक्वल टू फाइव सो आवर प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो इफ यू आर सेटिस्फाइड विथ माई प्रेजेंटेशन एंड कंटेंट्स देन प्लीज क्लिक ऑन लाइक बटन एंड डू सब्सक्राइब माई YouTube चैनल थैंक यू